Have you ever wondered how the stock market operates and how you can profit from it? Well, wonder no more, because we're about to embark on an enlightening journey. Welcome to Profit Boost, where we make complex financial concepts digestible for everyone. Today we're diving deep into the bustling world of the stock market. But what exactly is the stock market? Simply put, it's a vibrant marketplace where shares of publicly held companies are issued and traded. It's a place where everyday people can buy a piece of a company and potentially make money as the company grows. Our mission today is to demystify this financial hub, breaking it down into bite-sized pieces for those of you who are just starting to dip your toes into investing. We'll walk you through the basics from understanding what the stock market is to how you can buy stocks and the risks and rewards involved. By the end of this video, you'll have a basic understanding of how the stock market works and how you can potentially profit from it. The stock market isn't as complex as it might appear. It's simply a marketplace for buying and selling shares. But what are these shares? Well, they are essentially small pieces of ownership in a company. When you buy a share, you're buying a piece of that company's future success or failure. The stock market plays a pivotal role in the economy. It's like a giant global auction house where buyers and sellers negotiate prices and make trades. It's a place where companies go to raise money. When a company needs to fund new projects or pay off debt, it can sell shares to the public in what's called an initial public offering, or IPO. On the other hand, it's also a place for investors. These are individuals or institutions that buy shares in companies. They do this as an investment, hoping that the company will make money and the price of their shares will increase so they can later sell their shares for a profit. The stock market is a bustling hub of activity. Every day, billions of shares are traded on exchanges around the world. And all of this activity is driven by supply and demand. If more people want to buy a stock than sell it, the price goes up. If more people want to sell a stock than buy it, the price goes down. There are also different types of investors with different strategies. Some are long-term investors who buy shares in companies they believe will grow over time. Others are day traders who buy and sell shares in a single day, hoping to make a quick profit. It's important to remember that the stock market is not a guaranteed way to make money. Prices can go up and down rapidly and you could lose your entire investment, but with careful research and consideration, it can be a powerful tool for building wealth. Therefore, the stock market is a critical component of a free market economy because it provides companies with access to capital in exchange for giving investors a slice of ownership. Now that you understand what the stock market is, you might be wondering how to buy stocks. Well, the journey to buying your first stock starts with opening a brokerage account. Think of a brokerage as your gateway to the stock market. It's like an online platform where you can buy or sell stocks. There are many brokerages out there, each with its own advantages and features, ranging from advanced trading tools to educational resources for new investors. So it's important to do your research and choose the one that fits your needs best. Once you've chosen a brokerage, you'll need to provide some personal information and deposit money into your account. Now, you're ready to decide which stocks to buy. This is where your research skills really come into play. Look at a company's financial health, its business model, and its future prospects. Remember, when you buy a stock, you're buying a piece of that company, so you want to make sure it's a company you believe in. Once you've decided on a stock, it's time to place an order. There are a few different types of orders you can place. A market order is an order to buy or sell a stock at the current market price. It's quick and simple, but the price you pay may not be the exact price you saw when you placed the order. A limit order, on the other hand, is an order to buy or sell a stock at a specific price. This gives you more control over the price, but it might take a bit more time for your order to be filled. One last thing to consider is transaction fees. Some brokerages charge a fee every time you buy or sell a stock. These fees can add up, so it's important to factor them into your investment decisions. Remember, buying stocks gives you a piece of ownership in a company, and your success is tied to the company's performance. So take your time, do your research, and happy investing. Investing in the stock market isn't without risks, but it also offers significant potential rewards. Like a thrilling roller coaster ride, the stock market can take you on a journey of high peaks and deep valleys. The risk lies in the market's volatility. One day, you might be cruising along enjoying the scenic view from the top and the next, you could be plunging towards potential losses. But don't let that deter you. 
The ride also presents opportunities for exhilarating rewards. Imagine the thrill of seeing your investments grow or receiving dividends, a portion of the company's earnings, directly in your pocket. It's like getting a front row seat to a company's success story. However, the stock market is not a get-rich-quick scheme. It requires patience, research, and a well-thought-out strategy. It's about playing the long game, holding on to your stocks through the ups and downs, and making informed decisions. Ultimately, the key to successful investing is balancing these risks and rewards. The stock market can be a powerful tool for building wealth if you understand how it works and approach it with a clear strategy. Today, we've taken a journey through the intricate world of stock market investing. We've shed light on what the stock market is, a vast and complex system of buying and selling shares of publicly traded companies. We've explored how to buy stocks, from setting up a brokerage account to executing your first trade. We've also delved into the risks and rewards of investing, highlighting the importance of diversification and understanding your personal risk tolerance. In the world of investing, knowledge is power. The more you understand about the stock market, the better equipped you'll be to navigate its twists and turns. And remember, investing isn't about getting rich quick, it's about building wealth over time. Remember, investing is a marathon, not a sprint. Be patient, stay informed, and make decisions based on your financial goals and risk tolerance.